Ah, uh, yes. Just coming up to nine o'clock. God, not much longer then. <laughs> you seem to be uh, in a bit of a nervous state. Nervous state? <laughs> Should have seen me before I took the tranquilizers. <laughs> It's only a driving test. Only a... Only... Look at that traffic out there. You've got to go in amongst that, you know. Still, we've all got to start, haven't we? Ah, we'll soon get used to it. Now, uh... Where's my rabbit's foot? You see my rabbit's foot anywhere? Oh. That's it. <laughs> These are a great help. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. It doesn't seem to be your day, does it? <laughs> Do you know if I were you, I'd just pack up and go home. Now, you're in no fit state to be on the road. Mr. Chalmers? Yes, I'm here. OK, Ralston. He's all yours. Take him away. Uh, Mr. Chalmers, I hope you'll have a lot of lessons because this driving will be very dangerous. Driving instructor, you are. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Scrooge. Yeah. So, all those driving lessons I gave you finally paid off, eh? Yeah. That means I can drive any car I like now, doesn't it? That's right. You'll have to get yourself a car. That's right. Here. I think I'll have this one. <laughs> I don't anticipate any problems in passing. I'll get through all right. How can you be so certain? For two a very good reasons. <laughs> examiners are men, aren't they? That license is as good as in my pocket. I should have another think, sweetheart. You've got me for your examiner. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have had any trouble on Kitonks. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, madam. Miss. Yes, miss. Are you the gentleman in charge of this test centre? I am. Can I help you? I've heard that there's one of your examiners who won't pass a woman driver unless she lets him have his way with her. Well, I don't know whether it's true or not, miss, but if you can point him out to me, I'll have him. No, you point him out to me and I'll have him. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll give you the nice distinguished gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am he. My name's Harris. I'm the examiner appointed to conduct your test. Oh, excellent. Capital. I assume you've received the necessary instruction to take the test? All guidance comes from on high. <laughs> uh, what I really meant was uh, driving lessons. Oh, indeed, yes. I had a half an hour with the bishop's wife only last week. <laughs> half an hour? What do you mean? That's all you've had? Well, that is all I require. After all, when one is a servant of the church, one learns to rely upon it in all things. As the good book says, faith can move mountains. <laughs> I only hope you can drive a car through clever Broadway. Fear not, my son. Put your trust in the good shepherd, who is ever watchful of his flock. <laughs> Good. For an attractive young lady, you surprised me. You drove like a man. Oh, thank you. 
Apart from your two big boobs. <laughs> I thought you look how you reacted when that policeman suddenly put his hand up. Oh, you are awful. But I like you. <laughs> Oh, hello, Honky Tonks. How are you? Nice to see. Good morning, sir. You seem to be in high spirit. Oh, I am. I love being by the sea. I absolutely love it a little bit. Go on. Yes. I've written a little poem about it. Would you like to hear it? Not really. Then you shall. <laughs> now, let me see. It goes like this. It's great to be by the sea again. In London, you get paler and paler. It brings such a lovely pink flush to your cheeks when you're chased up the pier by a sailor. <laughs> I think it's flowy. <laughs> Can I help you, madam? Oh, I'm looking for a postcard to send to my sister. Oh, how about this one? Lovely view across the bay. How dare you show me a disgusting thing like that? What do you, what do you mean? Well, look at that rock. I bet I know what's going on behind there. <laughs> they shouldn't. Well, how about this one? <laughs> Don't give up, do you? You're still out. I've heard about the lighthouse keeper's daughter. She's no better than she should be. Now, look here, miss. If you find these objectionable, all I can say is you must be a sex maniac. Well, I like that. Who is it that's showing me the disgusting photographs? <laughs> Are you married? Why? Well, I'm looking for a nice young man, you see. <laughs> Excuse me, officer. Y yes? Have any of the local girls been insulted this morning? Well, not that I know of. Any houses set on fire or dogs kicked in the arbor? Certainly not. That's funny. I wonder where the lads have got to. <laughs> right, I'll uh, have that cabin door repaired and all the other little jobs done for you, Miss. Oh, thank you. Is there anything else needs doing? Well, I don't know anything about boats. Only my fiancé said he wanted it ready by the end of the week. <laughs> oh, leave it to me. I'll have you up on the slips tomorrow. Now, uh, how would you like your upper work painted white? Pardon? At the same time, I could scrape your bottom and uh, slap a couple of coats of varnish on it. Oh, you are awful, but I like you. little piece in her bikini. Lustful, that's what you are. You men, you're all alike. 
If I hadn't been there, you'd probably have ripped the clothes right off her back. <laughs> and don't think I don't know why the landlady keeps slipping you an extra egg at breakfast. <laughs> and another thing. <laughs> Simple, so look here. I'll load it for you. There you go. Oh, that's where you put the shots, is it? That's right, sir. Now then, you just put this up to your shoulder there. Put your finger on the trigger and aim at the target. It's all ready to fire. Isn't all it? ready, sir. Then I'll trouble you for the contents of the tin. <laughs> <laughs> Can hear me, can't you? Good. Uh, well, uh, to mark the occasion of the launching of this vessel, the 500th of my fleet, I have asked Her Grace very kindly to perform the ceremony. Your Grace. Oh, thank you. It gives me great pleasure to name this vessel. Pardon? To name this vessel the Lady's Lou. <laughs> no, 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 Your Grace. The Lady Sue. <laughs> I named this vessel the Lady Sue. Well, the 
to unpack the sandwiches, my love. I think we're in for a shower of loaves and fishes. <laughs> right, Your Grace. Now we can proceed. Oh, thank you. I named this vessel the Lady Sue. <laughs> Morning, sir. Oh, hello, honky tonks. How are you? Are you good look, Alan? Yes, thanks. Feel confident to handle it. What, with this rig out on? You must be joking. How can I go wrong? <laughs> one final word of advice, yeah. sir. If you find yourself in trouble, get tied up to one of the boys. Oh, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I'm engaged to one in Chelsea. <laughs> Bye. Oh, life on the ocean. <laughs> I heard what you said to that man. If there are any boys going spare, I'll have one. I didn't mean that kind of a boy, madam. <coughs> Miss? Oh, well, I can't have one of them. Are you married? Oh. Actually, the point is... Uh, well, I'm looking for a nice yeah, young man but, like you. Uh, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> I assure you, Your Grace, that everything will be perfectly all right this time. Yeah. Every bit so. <laughs> but it was hard to work this afternoon. I named this vessel the Lady Sue. One of the most cherished of all British traditions is the annual seaside holiday. There can't be many of us who haven't got happy childhood memories of a week or two by the sea, where every day seemed to consist of hot sunshine and cold ice cream. Let's see what our holiday makers are up to this year. Ah. Excuse me, sir. Oh, hello, Hunky Tonks. How are you? Oh, okay. Nice to see you. you. I suppose you're here on holiday, are you? No, as a matter of fact, I'm here to take up a new position. And I don't want any sidelong glances over that remark. No, of course not. Uh, what exactly are you going to do? I'm going to be a cook on an oil rig. 84 men with huge appetites, oh, I say. Well, that sounds a tough job. Oh, it is. And you won't find many idiots like me who pay £50 a week for the privilege of doing it. <laughs> See you. Taxi. Taxi. Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I take it you've just arrived here on holiday? Oh, indeed, yes, yes, yes. The annual seaside holiday is a tradition very dear to us British. The people, I think the people that rush off to foreign parts should be ashamed of themselves. Yes, so you wouldn't consider going abroad yourself? Oh, my goodness me, no. No, it is one thing to leave this country, but quite another thing when you want to come back. <laughs> have, you, have you ever spent three weeks rolled up in an Indian carpet? <laughs> My goodness me, no. <laughs> it's been very nice. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. I take you are just arriving for your holiday? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Do you find it expensive? No, I, I managed to save myself a bob or two, see. How's that? I only bought one ticket. Well, there's only one of you. Yeah, that's what you think. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> Miss. Oh, miss. Um, are you a holiday maker? Yes, I am. I was here last year. Oh, then you must have enjoyed it. No, I didn't. I stayed at a boarding house full of commercial travellers, and every night they came home drunk and tried to break into my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> they would have done if the landlady hadn't stopped them. <laughs> I hope you have better luck this year. Oh, I will, yes. You're staying at a different boarding house? No, the same one. Only this time I've got the landlady some knockout pills. <laughs> 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 Well, as a matter of fact, I'm it's, looking it's, for a nice young man like you. You see, I tell you something. I want to tell you about my. I have to go. Uh, excuse me, Vicar. Can you spare a moment? Oh yes, my son. Are you here on holiday, are you, sir? Yes, I managed to get a few days off. As a matter of fact, I'm here to meet one of my parishioners. A deserving case who will be all the better for a spell at the seaside. <laughs> oh, that's very nice to hear, Vicar. Kind deeds shining like a beacon in a naughty world. True, true. 
Oh, here she comes now. <laughs> this is your deserving case? Indeed. Can you think of anyone who deserves it more than she does? <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Hello. Hello. Here's a charming young lady. Thank you. Tell me, have you been down here on holiday? No, I've been doing a bit of modelling for my boyfriend on the beach. He designs lady swimwear. Lady swimwear? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Did he try his full range on you? Pardon? I mean, I suppose he had a hand in your bikini. <laughs> you are all. <laughs> but I like you. Nice to see. Lovely day. Race car Oh, thank you. Okay. Do you know, I get so excited when I come here. It's so glamorous. All those gorgeous horses and those lovely little jockeys in their silks. Ooh. Yeah, there's nothing to touch it, is there, sir? No. No wonder they call it the sport of kings. Mm. I know one or two queens who are mad about it, too. <laughs> oh, Rupert! Oh, wait for me, Rupert. Wait for me, Ru. <laughs> And gentlemen, he's a good-looking specimen in the peak of condition. Now, you've all seen him perform this afternoon, and I think it's only fair to say that he left nothing whatsoever to be desired. Oh, what a gorgeous beast. <laughs> now, who'll make me an opening bid, please? 100 guineas. 100 guineas I am bid. Any advance on 100? 200. 201. 250. 251. 251. 251 I am bid. Any advance? Down to you, madam. Oh, can I take him with me? Certainly, madam. Oh, thank you. Come <laughs> 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 along. The horse, madam, the horse! No, Come along. Are oh, you no, married? Madam, I bet you're not. Please, you please. Oh. And I ask you, friends, to give generously to those poor unfortunates who are afflicted with this terrible gambling disease. The irresistible urge to have a flutter which has destroyed many a good man. Ah, uh, not now, Vicar. Isn't it marvellous? Three hours of impassioned appeal and not a tot of room. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Come along, gents. Six to four, happy bishop. Two to one, the snow. Five to four, the field. Come along there. Well done, old chap, well done. Do you know what your marvellous horse has just done? 
brought me up on the last leg of the tote travel. <laughs> That's the ticket. Worth 1,500 quid, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the attractive young lady we've all been waiting for. Oh, thank you. Tell me, miss, as one of our leading lady jockeys... They you... call us jockettes. <laughs> jockettes, yes, of course. Tell me, what do you think of your chances for the next race? Oh, I shall do my best. Well, I must say, you're usually well out in front. <laughs> I do know that you're strongly fancied by all the bookies. Pardon? Well, I heard one of them say he'd be laying you at five to two. <laughs> you are awful. But I like you. <laughs> How'd you get on, Governor? Not bad. I only lost a quick. 